Please be seated and ask Dr. David Milling to the podium. Uh, we're going to see the charge of Maimonides, which is on page 24. I'm going to ask the entire medical school class to stand, including those students who had dual degrees. I will recite. If you could recite with me, that will be great. May the Almighty, source of mercy, be with you in all your efforts to heal the sick. May you be filled with love for your art and for mankind. May the thirst for gain and desire for fame be far from your heart, for these are the enemies of pity and the ministers of hate. May your strength be preserved that you may be able to restore the strength of the rich and the poor, the good and the bad, the friend and the foe. May you see in the sufferer the human alone. When those wiser teach you, may you be humbling to learn, for the human mind is so limited and the art of healing is so vast. May there never arise in you the notion that you know enough, but may you always have strength, leisure, and zeal to enlarge your knowledge. Your work is great, and the mind of mankind presses forward forever. You have been chosen to watch over the life and death of the creatures of the Most High, and from the Most High will come the guidance and strength that shall make this immense work of avail. And then I ask in a minute that you recite the oath with me. You have just been given an awesome gift, and that is the gift to heal and take care of the sick. And with that gift comes an awesome responsibility. And so as you read these words, and one of the more important oaths you will ever take, remember them and practice them going forward. So please, together, I swear to fulfill to the best of my ability this covenant. I will respect the scientific gains of those physicians and scientists in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will remember that there is both art and science to medicine. I will pursue the expansion of my knowledge throughout my life for the benefit of my patients. I will practice medicine with conscience and dignity. I will respect the privacy of my patients and not judge them. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. Most especially, I will tread with care in matters of life and death. If it be merely within my abilities to help ease suffering at the end of a life, May I face this awesome responsibility with humility and awareness of my own frailty. I vow always to act to preserve the finest traditions of my calling and my long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. Again, my personal congratulations.